Hello friends, myself Amar. Now in this video, I will discuss about overlay panel in prime faces. Okay. What I have done here, I have created a project named as overlay panel. And once the project is created, I have a index.xhtml page and I have used here prime faces 7.0. Right. Now in the index.xhtml, there is a head tag having the title as overlay panel and I have used the corresponding prime faces and JSF tag, right? Now, in the body, I have used a form tag and the form having the ID as form, right? And here I have taken a command button having the ID as btn image, the button having the value as image and the type is button, right? And to create the overlay panel, I have used prime faces overlay panel control having the ID as image overlay panel for BTN image. This means this overlay panel will be visible for which control? The control having the ID as BTN image. This means for this button, right? And in the hide effect, I have written fade. This means when the overlay panel will be gone, then it will have a fade effect, right? And what will be visible in the overlay panel? In this overlay panel, what will be visible this graphic image. So here I have used a graphic image having the value as image c.jpg and having the width as 400. This means in this project, I have created an image folder and inside this image folder, I have an image named as c.jpg. This means for this button, a overlay panel will be visible and inside this overlay panel, what will come? A image will come. Let me show you the output. Here you can see this image button there is a button having the value as image and once i click here then you can see overlay panel is coming and inside this overlay panel there is a image right and once i click outside then this overlay panel is gone with a fade effect right this is our first case now in the second case again i have taken a command button having the id as btn technology the value as technology and type is button that's why another button is created named as technology right now uh, here again i have taken up overlay panel having the id as technology overlay panel for which button it will be visible or for which control it will be visible having the id as btn technology this means for this command button hide effect i have given as fade dynamic i have given as true in this style, I have specified the width as 700 pixels and in the model, I have written true. Now, what is this model that I will discuss? Now, inside this overlay panel means inside the content of the overlay panel will be a data table. And to create the data table, here I have used P data table. Now, it has attribute where having the value as tick. In the value, I have specified technology list dot technology list. Now, as you can guess, this technology list is nothing but the name of the managed bean. Okay. And how many rows will be there for this data table? Five. And in the paginator, I have specified true. Let me show you the output. Then you can relate it. Once I click here, you can see there is a data table. How many rows are there? One, two, three, four, five. This means the number which I have specified here okay and paginated true that's why this pagination is coming here right now in this data table how many and this data table from where these values are coming all these values are coming from this technology list that i will discuss okay and inside this data table what i have done i have created three columns you can see and to create the column we have used p column tag and to specify the header of the column, we have used the header text attribute and in the header text I have written what? Language. For the second column, the header text is developed by and for the third column, the header text is year. That's why you can see language developed by and year. And what will be the value inside these columns to specify that we have taken output text having the value as take.name, take.developed by and take.year. And again you can guess that this stake is nothing but the name of the managed bean okay so this is the content of this overlay panel now let me discuss about this technology list and technology uh, let me move to the technology list as you can see here 
this data table is taking the value from this technology list ok. Let me move to technology list and here you can see here I have created a class named as technology list. I have specified it as a managed bean and the name of the managed bean I have given as technology list right. It has a constructor. Now here I have created a list named as technology list and what is its type? The type is list of technology ok and this technology has a gator property as well as this technology has a setter property also. This means for this technology list property I have created the getter and the setter right. Now inside this init method as you can see it has been decorated with post construct inside this init method what I have done I have created the object of this technology list class ok and you can see here this technology list is of which type list of technology. So here what I have done I have created a class technology and it has been decorated as managed bean and the name of this managed bean I have given as technology. It has some properties name developed by and year and for all this name developed by year I have created the corresponding getter and setter as you can see and here I have created a constructor which is taking this parameters name developed by year and after that I have written this dot name equals to name this dot developed by equals to this and this dot year equals to this ok. Now inside this technology list inside this init method what I have done I have added some values to this technology list by using the add method technology list dot add new technology and I have passed these values. Now what this new technology is doing it is calling the constructor of the technology class right. In this way I have added some values to this technology list ok and that value we are getting from this data table right and inside this column what we are doing for the first column we are using the value of name that is why here we are getting this name and for the developed by column we are taking the developed by attribute and for the uh, third column we are taking the year column and that is why we are getting the corresponding values right. Now here you can see once this data table is visible if I click outside this data table is not dismissible why because for this data table you can see I have specified the value model equals to true if I make it as false. Now let me save this. Now let me refresh this page. Now click here. Now click outside. Now this data table will be dis dismissible. Why? Because the model I have specified as false. Okay. This is our second case. Now for the third case again I have taken a command button having the ID as btn image list and the value as image list. That is why for this button the value is image list. Right for the third case and I have taken overlay panel which will be visible for this particular button. In the show effect I have written blind and in the height effect I have written explode. This means during its visibility and during its uh, removal it will have some animations as blind and explode ok. In the show event I have written mouse over this means it will be visible when the mouse will be hovering to this particular button and in the height event I have written mouse down right dismissible equals to true again you can make it as true and false if it is false then it will not be dismissible by default you need to click on the button but if it is dismissible equals to true then whenever you will clicking outside then the overlay panel will be gone right and in the so close icon equals to I have specified true what it will do if I click here you can see this close icon is coming ok and this close icon is coming why because here I have written so close icon equals to true. Now what will be the content of this overlay panel? The content of this overlay panel will be a image switch. It will have the effect as fade and in the style I have specified the width and height as 100 uh, width as 300 pixels and uh, height as 188 pixels that is why the width is this and height is this right. And inside this image switch what I have done I have taken a repeat control having the value as img list dot images. I have specified var equals to image and inside this repeat control I have taken a graphic image having the value as image slash image ok and the width as 300 
okay now okay now here what this img list will do let me show you the code first image list okay so here if you can see here i have used img list and you can guess this is nothing but the name of the managed bin in this image list class what i have done i have created a list of string having the name as images and it has a getter method and inside the init method what i have done in this list of string i have added some string values as c.jpg car.jpg and mountain.jpg right and here what this repeat control will do if you don't know about this repeat control then you can refer to my gsf tutorial what this repeat control will do this will repeat till values is present inside this images okay so it will loop for three times why because i have added three images it will loop for three times and it will fetch the images one by one having the value as c as you can see uh, having the value as c car and mountain so the images will come as the first image will have the value as c.jpg then car.jpg then mountain.jpg and this images will be fetched from this image folder as you can specify as i have specified here and this images will have the width as 300 okay that's why if you can see this image list inside this image list inside this overlay panel this images are changing why due to this repeat because it is repeating and it is fetching the images one by one okay this is all about your overlay panel now this is the entire code you just have a look this is the code for the index.xhtml right this is the entire code for the index.xhtml okay this is the code for the technology list class this is the entire code for this managed bean named as technology list okay these are the values this is the class for the technology this is again a managed bean and this is the code for the image list class this is again for the this is again uh, uh, managed bean which is i have created for the third case okay i hope you have liked my video if you like my video please subscribe to my channel share my channel like my videos and comment to my videos thank you so much